In this video, I would like to give you some tips for a successful job interview in English so that you can get your dream job, even though you have a strong foreign accent. A big reason that people take accent reduction lessons with me is because they're preparing for a job interview and often they're very nervous about it. They're scared that they will not get the job when people hear their strong accent or maybe that people will not understand them. And so often my students are very qualified for that particular job and often even more qualified than native speakers who are applying for the same job. My students get so nervous that they don't even apply for their dream job because they're so afraid that people will not understand their accent or that their accent is simply too strong for the position that they want. In this video, I want to give you some tips on how to prepare for a job interview if your accent is strong. My first tip is try to find out in advance the names of the people who will be interviewing you and make sure you can pronounce their names correctly. Often you can know the names in advance, but if you don't, you can do a search on the company and you can find out who the people in charge are, who are the managers, who are the likely people who will be interviewing you, and then practice saying their names correctly. Ask someone how to pronounce those names. Because English names can be confusing to foreign speakers. For example, we have Joan and we have Joanne and we have Craig and we have Greg, or maybe the sound of their name is so foreign to you. But if you practice their names in advance, then you will feel more confident about your pronunciation when you're first meeting those people. And my second tip is similar to my first tip. Make a list of all of the most common words that are used in the job that you are applying for. Maybe there are 20 or 30 or 40 words that are related to your specialty, that specific field that you are in. Make a list of those words and then practice saying those words correctly. For example, it's important that you can say the name of the job correctly. I was working with a doctor who was a pain specialist and he was Chinese. And for Chinese speakers, pain is difficult to say, so he would say pen, a pen specialist. And another student of mine was a native speaker of Spanish and he was applying for a position for general manager. And often Spanish speakers have a hard time with the J, they pronounce it like Y. So instead of saying general manager, he said something like general manager, the J became Y and people had a hard time understanding that. Make sure you can pronounce the job description correctly and all the details related to your job. I suggest that you ask a native speaker to help you to pronounce those words correctly. Also, ask the native speaker to record those words for you and then you can listen and repeat and make sure you sound the same. And if you don't have any native speaker friends, then I would recommend hiring a teacher. You can find some teachers online and you can work with them for a couple of hours to make sure that you're pronouncing all of those words correctly. And my next tip is write down all of the possible questions that you may be asked and practice answering them out loud. This is really, really important. You need to hear yourself saying those answers before your interview. And don't only practice one time, say those answers over and over again. And of course, record yourself and then listen to how you sound. And if something doesn't sound clear and you think people are not going to understand what you're saying, repeat that again, practice again and again. And the next tip is pay attention to how quickly you are speaking. It's a good idea to slow down, especially on keywords. Remember, when we get nervous, we tend to rush. The anxiety causes us to speak too fast very often. And if you speak too quickly and you're not clearly pronouncing all of the difficult English sounds, you'll be difficult to understand. And the next tip is be confident, stay relaxed and stay positive. Behave as if you are the right person for the job, even though you have an accent. Don't get too insecure about your accent. And remember, it's not only about your accent. You are qualified for the job. Behave as if you are qualified. 
The more that you believe in yourself, the more that they are going to believe in you. And in my opinion, I think it's a good idea sometimes to tell them that you are actually working on your pronunciation and your English skills in general. You are ambitious and driven and you want to improve yourself. I think it can make a really good impression. And then actually do it. Whether you get the job or whether you don't get the job, keep working on your pronunciation. It will improve and you'll get better and better. Don't let the way that you speak and your strong accent prevent you from pursuing your goals. I work a lot with students who have big goals and I love it when they call me and they get their dream job and they tell me how the interview went and it went really great because they worked on all of these things. The accurate English courses that are available are designed to help you be successful working in an English speaking environment. They are designed to fix your biggest mistakes and to give you confidence every single time that you speak. And keep working on all aspects of your English, accurate grammar, accurate vocabulary, and accurate pronunciation.